Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Nostalgia 3-in-1 Breakfast Station. Nostalgia sent me this unit so I can tell you what I think of it. You can make coffee, eggs and meat on the griddle, and toast bread in the toaster oven. All three can be done at the same time. A unit like this is good for trailers, camping, small spaces, places where you can't fit three appliances. We'll get to cooking in a minute to see how it works. First I'll show you what comes with this breakfast station. A coffee pot that holds three cups of coffee, lid, reusable coffee filter, filter basket. There's a water reservoir back here for the coffee, a lid to be used with the griddle. The handle comes unattached, just screw it on. This is the nonstick griddle where you can cook eggs and meat. It is removable for cleaning. This is the toaster oven, comes with a tray and a rack. There are two heating elements on the bottom and top a crumb tray, a plastic scoop to measure coffee, and the instruction manual. I do love the retro look of this unit. It comes in red and aqua. The unit measures 10 and a half inches tall, 12 inches tall with the lid in place, 19 inches wide, and nine and a half inches deep. The inside of the toaster oven measures nine and a quarter inches deep, nine and a half inches wide, and four and a quarter inches in height from where the tray is placed. The cord is almost 35 inches long. When you first get the unit, wash the coffee pot, filter and basket, griddle, lid, wire rack and trays with warm soapy water and dry. There may be a plasticky smell the first time you use it, but it should go away. The dials can be a little confusing. These two dials are the controls for the grill and the toaster oven. With the first dial, you can choose oven off just to heat the grill, which is the top part. This choice is to have the grill and the toaster oven on and this is just to have the toaster oven on. With the dial, you can choose if you want a light, medium, or dark shade of toast. You can also set the timer from zero to 30 minutes. So the bottom button is just to turn the coffee maker on or off. After coffee brews, make sure to turn the button off. The top two heating elements inside the toaster oven is what heats the griddle. So even if you choose the setting with just the griddle on and the toaster oven off, the toaster oven inside will still be warm. So you can heat something up in there like a bun or a croissant. With any new unit, I like to run water to clean the coffee maker. The coffee pot holds three cups or 24 ounces. There's no coffee in here. Plug in the unit and I'll press the coffee button to coffee. It's lit up. It's done brewing and that took about eight minutes. Don't forget to turn the button off. Now I'll put fresh water in the tank to brew coffee. I'm putting in three cups. Remember that the coffee button should be off when you pour water. So I'm going to put in three scoops of coffee for my three cups of water. I'm using the included scoop. I'm going to make eggs on top and toast in the toaster oven. It's best to heat up the griddle for five minutes before using. The coffee is off and I'm going to turn the knob to toast bake here so it'll heat up the griddle and the toaster oven. And set the timer to five minutes. It's not going to turn on until you move the dial and set the time. Before you use the griddle, rub a little bit of oil on it. Don't use metal utensils with this unit. Use heat proof plastic. Timer's up, now we can make eggs and toast. Careful, it is hot. You can fit four pieces on the rack. I'll crack two eggs on top. There's more, you can see that this um, plastic uh, part really got affected by the heat and it's just flipped up a little here. It's on toast bake and I'm gonna set to five minutes. For the toast you can choose light, medium or dark but since I'm cooking the eggs and toast I'm just gonna set the timer to five minutes and watch. I'll put the coffee pot on and turn the button to coffee. 
The griddle is hot, but I don't think it's that hot, so I'm going to cover it. The cover is a little low, so you can see it touching the egg a bit. You can see the toast is brown on one side after about two minutes, so I'll flip it over. The glass is hot, so make sure you use the handle. The timer went off. The toast is done, so I'll remove the bread. Looks pretty good. Let's check the eggs. The eggs are just about set. There are two heating elements that run across like this, so the heat is not going to be perfectly even, but the eggs are almost cooked. There's a little bit um, around this yolk that's not cooked, so I'm going to put the cover on and wait two minutes for the eggs to finish cooking. And we can turn the dial to just grill, so just the top part is heated to finish cooking the eggs. The eggs are definitely done. Time to take them off. I'll turn the timer off. I might have left him on a minute too long. Don't forget to use a non-stick spatula. Okay, there we go. And you can see it's going to come off. Anything that flows away from the middle of the griddle will fall into the grooves around the griddle. Like you saw with the eggs. The griddle has a pattern on it. It's not perfectly flat. I wouldn't suggest putting too much bacon or sausage on the griddle as um, they are greasy and there might be too much grease collecting around the grooves. Turn off the unit and wait for the unit to cool down before washing the griddle in hot soapy water. The coffee is also done brewing. I'm going to turn the coffee button to off. There's no beeps to let you know that the coffee is finished brewing. After you finish hearing the coffee maker sounds, still wait uh, about another minute for the rest of the coffee to drip into the pot. So we've got the two eggs, four pieces of toast. Two more eggs would have fit on the griddle. The way most of us drink coffee, this is good for two people. Coffee is very hot and it's a good cup of coffee. The toast is pretty even and it makes four slices, which is good. The eggs, I did overcook it by a minute. That's why it started to bubble up. And the coffee was finished just about the same time as the eggs. I would suggest cooking your meat or eggs on top first, turn the coffee on, and then put the toast in last. The toast will take about four or five minutes. So if you time it that way, everything will be done at exactly the same time. The unit is good for one or two people. After you're done, make sure to turn the dial to oven off. The middle dial should be off and the red coffee button should be to coffee off. Since there are three different parts to turn off and sometimes we might forget to turn off one, I would suggest unplugging the unit after use. Even after I turn the unit off, the coffee pot base here is still warm. So the coffee will stay warm in the carafe for a few minutes after you turn the unit off. The egg is cooked nicely and it doesn't smell or taste plasticky. It's not dishwasher safe. All the parts should be washed in warm soapy water and dried. Also, clean off the crumb tray after cooking. I think most people buy this because of how it looks. It's retro, it's beautiful, but it also serves a purpose. I was skeptical of this unit because of how it looks, but you saw that it can make coffee, toast, and eggs all at the same time. I will be reviewing a few other nostalgia retro looking products, so if you're interested, subscribe and you'll get a notification. If you want to try out this nostalgia 3-in-1 breakfast station, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.